So, uh, our main topic is mycotomy and subtopic is its uh, method. In the method, we will discuss how the sections are cut and then how these sections are stained. So, sectioning, it is a process of cutting the embedded samples into thin sections. And this step also requires great care as tissues of the diagnostic importance uh, can easily be lost or the block surface may be damaged if it is not properly handled. We should be sure that all of the clamping mechanisms which clamp the block onto the microtome are properly tightened. Otherwise, the block may be damaged. We already know that the thickness of the sections is normally adjusted between 10 micrometer to 30 micrometers, which we already have discussed in case of uh, a rotary microtome or other types of microtome. Uh, so when we uh, operate the microtome, the tissues of the desired thickness is uh, cut and we can collect those uh, sections accordingly. The cut sections are then floated on warm water bath which helps to remove the wrinkles from the cut uh, sections. And these cut sections are then placed on the glass microscope slides or some other support for staining. The slides must always be grease free and dust free. If there will be grease or dust on the slides, of course, that will affect the quality of the uh, sections. This involves reversal of uh, this, this process of staining that involves reversal of the process of embedding to remove paraffin and then staining by water soluble stains. Zahir hai, jo already tissues ke andar paraffin hai, wax hai, usko remove karenge, tabhi hum staining proceed kar, sake, uh, kar sakte hai. To sabse pehle, isme jo paraffin tissues ke andar hoti hai, usko remove karna hota hai, aur uske baad, zahir hai, hum staining kar sakte hai. Paraffin remove karne ke liye hum kya karte hai? The slides are treated with xylene or some other uh, solvent like alcohol uh, so that the paraffin is removed and then uh, the tissues are stained and tissues are stained uh, you know with different types of dyes uh, that depends uh, on the studies which, are, which we are performing. Some of the stains we need uh, mordants for them which help in adding those stains onto the tissues. For example, iodine acts as a mordant in gram staining of bacteria. Stains use depend on their differential affinity for various types of cellular organelles. Uh, for example, GIMSA stain that stain the nucleus, other stains, they also uh, stain different types of cellular organelles. So the stain which we use de that depend on their differential affinity for various types of cellular organelles. Some of the special stains they are used in of course, uh, some special types of cases in special types of staining. Slides which are ready, which are now stained, they must be properly labeled so that uh, they can be studied later on when we want to study them. <laughs>